In this video, we're gonna start on the barbecue to foundry conversion. So we're gonna turn this thing into a foundry. Well, let's get started. Alrighty, so first thing I wanna do is tear out all of the propane pieces inside this. I wanna see what I have so that I can make a decision if I need to order more pieces or if I have enough of them in this barbecue. So I'm gonna go ahead and tear apart and see what's inside. All right, so here's what I pulled out of the barbecue. I think this is gonna work. Um, it's a little weird. You got the on and off switch, right? Full power, less power. And then on that, you have each one of these, which are the jets there. Um, and so this is really actually perfect. The only downside to this is this thing, which is really short, too short in fact. So I'll need to get a longer one of these. This will probably work for just testing stuff, uh, but it's something that I, I don't know if I wanna keep on here, especially if I'm melting aluminum or metal. Uh, now, I really like these jet nozzles. I'm hoping the nozzles will be large enough, and it doesn't look like I can lower it to one, so it looks like I'm gonna have to do two. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna do propane burners here. I think I'm gonna do two of them. One on this side and one on this side, and then hook it to the same air intake here. I think it'll be good. So let's get started with building the burner. So looking online and looking at the propane burners, it looks like they control the oxygen through the back. They have a pipe that flanges out towards one end and flanges out on the other end. So it's like a, well, it's like a pipe with two flanges on the end of it. Um, and at one end, they put an injector and then eject the fuel and control the air intake at the end of the pipe. The actual propane burner is only gonna be like this long. It isn't gonna be very long. So I think that this is going to work. Test fitted them and they all fit together. Now I just got to take them out again. Just like that. There they are. This comes out like that. You kind of look like uh, rocket engines, I have to say. You know, it's like kind of thing. But anyway, uh, so these now go on here like this. So that goes in there like that. Basically, that's how it goes. Our uh, valves here control the fuel, and then our air intake is right there right the air goes in that way taking this off here so now i need to design some air intakes that fit on the back of these like this so they can open up the air vents and shut the air vents just like that so that's that's what i gotta work on next Here's my air intake. So now to add more air, it goes like this. Let's more air in. Close off less air. More, less, more, less. It's really perfect. Put this thing down and screw it in. Perfecto, amigo. Now with this figured out, I suppose there's nothing left but to try it. On our knobs here, let's give it a shot. Gotta go get some matches. There we go. Maybe we should try this one more time. Hmm. Ah, a change of noise. So we had the torch going and then I failed it. So the goal with this is to try to get the flame on the outside of the pipe. You don't want it burning in the inside of the pipe. That's not really efficient. You want it to burn right at the end and you can really hear the difference. It like, it like roars and that's where you know you're getting it and then it then sputters when it's not working right. 
Uh, so that's really just figuring out the airflow, trying to get the airflow correct. So then I thought, okay, I, I need to make it easier to adjust the airflow. So I pulled everything back out again, and instead of using this cheesy metal, which I think was letting some air through, it wasn't really working that well, I scrapped it, and I'm gonna use this much thicker metal, and this is the one that I'm gonna use now. Um, and what I'm also going to do is in the side here, I'm going to add in a tractor throttle system. Um, it's gonna go right in here like this. So I then can move this back and forth. Slide action here, hopefully to adjust the air it is the hope. All done. Gas, oxygen, we got it all. Let's fire this thing up, shall we? Let's go ahead and give it some oxygen. All right, so let's try. No oxygen again on this one. Nice, smooth air. I don't want any wind, so let's try with just this. Yeah. That is perfect. All right. Well, I think that's working. Those torches are working. I am so psyched. So basically, if you run it, as little oxygen as I can get in there. Running about half right there. All right, there we go. That's the torches. Woo -hoo. At least working good enough that I can maybe start melting aluminum. Um, I might do a little bit more work on them in the next episode. It's gonna be a work in progress to try to get this running perfect. But for right now, it's working, it's running, and that's the cool thing. So any ideas for any improvements on this thing, definitely post it down in the description. It's working and that's what matters. Yes. That's the end of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next week with another video on this thing. Like, comment, subscribe. I don't know about you, but I don't want to use up too much for pain, so I'm just gonna do that. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye.